Okay, wait, hold on a second. Let me just make sure I'm not on uh, YouTube. (laughs) Because you never know, right? You never know who's watching. No, it doesn't look like I'm on YouTube. It just it's just recording. Awesome. Okay. So we are doing a recording on social media monetization coaching training. And we have an amazing, wonderful, beautiful uh, client that is learning about social media monetization. So the first thing that I am going to talk about is how I grew my LinkedIn from a year ago, 88 connections to now 1,300. The way that I did that was that I networked myself into with the Happy Neighborhood Project. Amazing networking uh, community, please join and tell them Pink Cloud Nine sent you, so that helps. Great, so uh, the client knows about the Happy Neighborhood Project, so I don't have to go on and on about it, but if you join, you will have so many people in your connections so quickly, it'll be amazing. So one of my specialties is Facebook group growth and monetization. And also I'm really good at LinkedIn events. Dear client, which do you want to talk about right now? I would like to talk about uh, Facebook group. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So with Facebook group, my first question is, do you have your own Facebook group as of now? No, I don't even have a business Facebook page. Right, right. And that's fine. I would recommend you start with Facebook group. And then after you kind of feel a little bit like, oh, you know, I can, I can, I can handle this. I can deal with this. Then you do a Facebook page. And, and I know it's so confusing because there's so many spots to hang out in, in Facebook. But here, let me explain to you why Facebook group is a better place to start. Number one, Facebook algorithm is hot with the Facebook groups. Facebook algorithm is throwing the Facebook groups in everybody's news feed constantly. If you go to your Facebook right now on your profile, you'll see your friends and you'll see groups, friends, groups, friends, groups. So that's what you want to have your own group so that people can see your group. Now, let me explain. Facebook business page is not going into the algorithm unless you're paying for Facebook ads as a sponsor. Right? Cool. Let me uh, just read the note so that I know that we're on the same page. Yep, exactly. Exactly. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. Do you want to start your own Facebook group through screen share right now? Um, you want to talk about it and then do it later on your own or in another session because you have to have a Facebook group name, which we can talk about how to do that. You have to. Okay. Pay, you have to. Let's pay. Uh, let's talk about how how to set it. What was the steps we need to set it up, and if we have time today, and if I have all the moving parts, then we can set it up. Yeah, let's talk about it because we um, we decided to do one hour's worth today and we've only done four minutes. So we still have time, but you never know, right? <laughs> so let's talk about what is important with the Facebook group, how you're gonna stand out, how you're gonna grow it and how you're gonna monetize it. The first step is the name. What are you going to call your Facebook group? What is going to be the name? Okay. So the name is going to be more effective if you use searchable keywords that other people are searching in the Facebook search box, kind of like Google, right? So you know how you go to Google and people are like, how to make a pancake. So the keywords there would be 
how to pancake make, right? Same thing for Facebook. People are going to Facebook talking about where do I get life insurance or how do I monetize a Facebook group or how do I find a boyfriend, right? So these are the keywords that people are searching. So whatever your industry is, it has to have that keyword search. So do you want to use your example or do you want me to use another example? It's up to you. Uh, no. Uh, no. Okay. Uh, well, don't you use don't use my example yet because I'm working on the that. Sure. Yeah, no. And that's why I ask. I have to get permission first, obviously, out of respect. <laughs> no. Okay. So how to find a boyfriend? This okay. So say somebody say somebody types, how do I find a boyfriend or boyfriend or dating or or um relationships or something along those lines, right? So you have to know what your description of your Facebook group is going to be about. What is your Facebook group going to be about? Is it going to be teaching people? Is it going right. to, right. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Is it going to teach people? Is it going to inform people? Is it going to educate people? Is it going to ask questions? Is it going to promote other people? Is it going to talk about entrepreneurship is it going to right so you have to think about so let's let's follow the how do i find a boyfriend say somebody types in the keyword search in facebook that says uh can we can we backtrack just for a sec sure yeah uh okay uh are you gonna are you gonna be teaching can you repeat those things are you going to be teaching what are you doing with your facebook group what is the purpose of your Facebook group? What is the reason why you're starting a Facebook group? You have to answer these questions to yourself and to your coach. So later you'll tell me, okay? So um, what is the purpose of starting a Facebook group? Well, first of all, you want to build a community, right? You want to build a community so that you can have people that know, like, and trust you. Okay. That's really the most important thing because Facebook group is going to be your hub where you're going to bring everybody to. You're going to bring your LinkedIn people to Facebook group. You're going to bring your Instagram people to Facebook group. You're going to bring your other people, TikTok people, whatever, whoever people bring them back to your Facebook group because monetizing Facebook group is super duper easy if you have a hundred members and up. You only need a hundred of the correct community people, right? The example would be the how to find a boyfriend dating relationships people, people that want to learn about relationships, people that want to learn about, okay? So we'll take a little break. Let me get some water. Okay, okay. Uh, so because Facebook is the easiest to monetize, right? That is correct. That is um, my specialization. That um, certainly there's other people that are uh, monetizing Instagram like crazy, LinkedIn like crazy, but my thing is Facebook group monetization. That's why that's what we're talking about. That's what we're focusing on. Um, that's what I've been doing for a year in. So I want to be able to other people to also do it. And I'm not the only one doing it. <laughs> one of the biggest Facebook groups right now, do you want to know how many people are in that group? Over 500,000. And do you know that they have a monthly membership of like a hundred bucks? Really? And I don't know how many people are in the membership. But can you imagine just like five people signing up? That's like 500 bucks a month. You know what I mean? That's like, and that's lowballing it. Wow. So that's, that's one example. Then there's so many more with like 60,000 and 10,000 and 
da, da, da. but you can start with a hundred people as long as they are loyal and 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 no and not not loyal in a like bad way but loyal in a like they know like trust you they've seen you they they've seen your progress they know that you know what you're talking about they see you as a authority as a professional you know things like that right cool mm -hmm. okay so the first thing you need to learn is the name of your Facebook group. We, you and I will talk about your specifically later at a later time or off camera, no problem. Mm -hmm. And then the second thing is the cover picture of your Facebook group. It's like, you know, kind of like the LinkedIn one. You might, if you want, you can use the same one if you want, since yours is awesome. Um, but uh, that's really important in the, what I'll tell you is in the cover photo, what you're gonna want is obviously what you do, how you help people, your contact information. And if you want familiarity, use your picture. You're a beautiful person, you know? But if you don't want to use your face, that's fine. You can just use your logo you be known by your logo. So it's up to you. It's totally a personal decision, okay? So the first thing is the name. Second thing is the cover photo. Yep, yep, exactly, exactly. Picture, picture, or logo. Or logo. For sure, for sure. Either or. Either but you need something, something pretty something there, pretty you know? Yeah. You're so really real breaking, you're breaking up. Your audio is breaking up a lot. Oh, I'm sorry. You just need something pretty up mm -hmm. there either your picture or your logo okay yeah okay that design we can talk about later the third thing that you need is a really good description about your facebook group and a description in the about section because that is also public information so that's why the name, the photo, and the description are the most three most important components because that is what the public sees in Facebook before they join your group. That's all public info. Okay, there are two separate things. The, uh, the description of the group and the description in the about section. So the description lives in the about section. It's oh, okay. It's one in the same. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah. Only one description. The description. I know. It's like, do they have to make it so complicated? No, I'm joking. <laughs> it's super, super uh, fun. Uh, once you get in there, you're like, oh, I get that. Okay. Oh, hmm. and then you'll be yeah. a pro in no time. Good, good, good. Very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So then. Um, another thing is the description box, which lives in the about section. Okay. Also has to have keywords in it. So say it's relationship dating, say it's a relationship dating Facebook group, then you're going to want to say things like keywords. This group is about relationships, dating, single life, divorce, you know, these are really big keywords that people are searching, okay? So in the about section, description section, you write what it's about. What's the group about? What are people going to get from your group? Here you will learn about dating, being a, a single mom dating, a solopreneur dating, you know, all of these big description words. So that's really important in the description about, and you're gonna wanna make it kind of long, I'd say about no less than 100 words, no more than 500 or 300 or 500 words. It just depends on what kind of a writer you are. Some people love to content write, copyright. Some people have a hard time with it. So 100 words, 300 words, 500 words. It's up to you. Obviously, the more words, the more people will um, have information about it. 
and will want to join. But there's other people that just skim through and don't read everything. <laughs> okay. So you know that. So the more words you have, the more searches exactly. you will attract. Because right? the point, yes, because the point of the whole Facebook group is that Facebook algorithm puts you in the search section where people, when they type something, your group pops up. You know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah. Super. I know it's <laughs> it's uh, my it's my it, this is this is my cup of tea. That's great. That's great. It's it's very um, it's wonderful that you love it. <laughs> yeah, I do love it. Cool. All right. Uh, cool. Uh, uh, you have questions? The, the Facebook algorithm. Um, uh, uh, the the point. The point they, of it that you put the, that uh, the Facebook algorithm puts your group in other people's search box or search section, search, search section. Okay. Very good. Yeah. Perfect. Mm -hmm. awesome. Perfect. See, awesome. Okay. So name, photo, description. Right. That, that's the most important thing. Once you have these three components and you're like, okay, I know what I'm going to name it. I know what cover photo I'm going to use. I know what the description box is going to say. Then that's when you go to the groups, create new group section. Right? Yep. Okay. So groups. when you, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Perfect. All right. Uh -huh. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let me, um, I'm going to use my Facebook group as an example so you can see in the screen. Is that okay with you? Perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay. Perfect. Just making sure. I'm going to show you and let me know if you can see it. Uh, yeah, can you make it just a little bit bigger? Can you zoom? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not even there yet. I'm just okay. in, like when you log, hold on one second. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. When you log into your Facebook, this is what shows up. It's the first thing that shows up. So, okay. And then the problem is I don't have the thing, so I'm going to have notifications. That's a problem, which I will fix later. But so here's a little section that says groups. Right here, see with the little Where, people, right here. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So you go right there. So when you pop into Facebook, the first thing in the morning, afternoon, whatever, you go to groups, it says right there groups, right? You see the word? Yep, got it. You click mm -hmm. it. Okay, lots of, lots of groups right here, no big deal. Over here to the left-hand side, create new group in the blue. Yeah. You click it. Uh, okay. You see that now? Uh huh. Perfect. Right uh, here it says group name. So that's where you're going to put your name. Uh huh. Right here it says choose privacy. Okay. Uh, Okay, choose privacy and what do you want for that? Okay, so everybody says, what do I do? What do I do? My suggestion is do it public. And that's why if you want to do your, if you want to do your um, cover photo, like just your logo, but not your picture, fine. But here's the thing. If you do private, it's not going to uh, reach as many people as public will. Public will reach a lot more people. Um, it's just, you know, it's just what it is. You just have to be yeah. more careful about. You just have to be more careful about what you post. Mm hmm. Okay. Okay. So, and um, I'm gonna send you this recording later so you can watch it and 
you can do it yourself. Cool. Very good. Excellent. Cool. Awesome. So let's um, go back to the. Let's. I'm gonna do, let's go back to the example of dating. I might even uh, uh, dating. Wait. Yeah. Let's do relationship. Are you, are you creating a group now? Yeah, just for you. Oh, I thought you were gonna leave it there. <laughs> no, I'm going to go through because there's a bunch of other stuff inside the settings once you create it that you need to know. Is that okay? Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Yeah. You're very welcome. Okay. I'm very thorough. So I try. <laughs> relationships. Good. Relationships. Uh, I guess, comma, dating. And... I don't, you know what? I don't even like the comma. I mean, it's just, it's just dating and marriage. Okay. So this is going to be my new group. <laughs> Isn't that hilarious? No. Yeah. Okay. The, the privacy, I'm going to obviously do public relationship okay. dating and marriage. Okay. It, there's okay. A, yeah. Cool. Uh, so there's a section that says invite friends. Please invite me when we when you get started so i know that you started yours and i can join it okay 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 uh -huh. so then you invite me you just click on it and then you put my name see if it pops up no because i'm myself but anyway you'll pop me up and right. then right right and then right here it says create so are you ready <laughs> here we go the new Facebook group. I don't have a relationship, dating, and marriage group, so this is actually kind of cool. All right, here we go. So here we go. We're creating a group. It's taking a second to load. Okay. Which is fine. Mm -hmm. So you see how I named it keyword searchable. Uh, yeah. Words. Okay, perfect. So here we are. This is you know this is what a new group looks like. So the the so I renamed it. Here's a cover photo. Here's a little section here. Let me see if I can close this. Close all chats. Awesome. So here's a button that says edit. So you're gonna edit, and then I'm going to upload my photo that I always upload because that's my favorite and that's my you know go to picture for covers that I do. Right. That's yeah. So it's it's part of your branding. Yeah, it's how I keep it unified. Exactly. So, yeah. so you put your little picture in there. Uh -huh. however, however you want. Okay, cool. Let it load. Now, perfect. Relationships, dating, and marriage. Hey, maybe that'll be my new uh, stream. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Okay, so here we go. This here is the settings part where you're gonna have admin tools, right? You're gonna have your member requests, automatic member approvals. There's a whole bunch of stuff, bunch of words. The most important thing to do is the settings, okay? Down here in the settings, it's right before the support in the manage group section. Go to settings, okay? So here we go, settings. Now, Okay, and we still have time, so we're good. Name and description. That's when you click, what, let me go back because, so here's your setup group, right? Name and description, here's your little pen. You click on it, then it has the name, which you can only change. It used to be once every 30 days. I don't know what it is now. So just make sure that you got the name that you want, okay? Mm -hmm. So down here you go description. This group, and I'm just going to make it short, is about everything related to dating. And on and on and on and on I would go, right? Mm -hmm. You can even put links down here. You can put your LinkedIn link. You can put your link tree. You can put your YouTube link, whatever you want. I wouldn't recommend it, but you can. I'm just saying. And the reason why well, I don't recommend What? No, no, I, I hear you. Uh -huh. The reason why I don't recommend it is because it might slow down the showing in the algorithm. So 
just don't do links for now. That's just an option. Okay, so we're going to save. So now there's that. The next thing you're going to want to do is keep going down. Right now, the privacy is public. It's visible. The location does not matter. It's global. It's good. Do not do the beta. That's just testing. Don't do that. Then you go down to customize group and you see this web address, the name of your Facebook group and the URL. You're going to want mm -hmm. to you're going to want to change that. So you're going to want to click on the pen and name your group. Customize, customize it. So it's going to be called relationships. It's already taken. So I'm going to go ahead and do dating and then marriage. I know it's a long, weird word, but people will see it. It has a little uh, green, means that that name is not taken, so I can take it. So now I hit save. Mm. And now it goes up here, and it's called Facebook Groups, Relationships, Dating, Marriage. Get it? Right here? Uh, right here? Up uh, here? Where are you? I don't see your... You don't see my marker? Oh, oh. yeah. Right here. I see it there. Uh huh. In the search. Do you see it moving? Um. No. You know? No. Oh. Okay. That's. It's because the. It's cutting off the top of it. But. Um. The point is, I can't change it. But right here. That's okay. That's all right. That's all right. Yeah, no. It's. A, it's called right here. You can see this, right? Yeah. Yeah. Customized group web address www.facebook.com slash group slash relationship uh -huh. in marriage. Uh -huh. That's the uh -huh. new uh -huh. that's the new name of your web address for uh -huh. you. Okay? Instead of a whole bunch yeah. of numbers, right? Instead of a whole bunch exactly. of Exactly. Very, yeah. very good. Got it. Yeah, exactly. Cool. So then a uh, group color, you can change it, but you don't have to. I like mine to since it's relationships, I'm gonna do red. Okay. Badges. These are not important. If I don't, if I don't say them, they're not important. Badges, just leave them. Group, leave a group type. General, leave it. General. Features, nothing to worry about here. This is just kind of like uh, basic. Manage membership. Who can join the group? So you're gonna okay. Manage membership is the next one. Yeah, I know. I'm saying yeah. a lot of words, but this is good. This okay. is okay. This is recorded, so you can um, re Sure, very good. Mm -hmm. okay, cool. So manage membership. Who can join the group? Okay, so we have two choices. One, only profiles. This only allows profiles to ask you to join. Or my favorite, profiles and pages. You allow both pages and profiles to join your group. Yes, same. Okay. Okay, this, this is just basic. Who can post? This one is important for monetization. Oh wait, anyone in the group can post, that's fine. This is the, this is the one right here that's the most important, okay? Approve yeah. all member post. So you have two choices. The monetization choice is the on. It's the post by members must be approved by admin or moderator. You got to have that one on. Okay, uh, here. I, um, I, mm -hmm. uh, posts by members must be approved. Right, because that gives you the ability to charge them a premium membership to be able to post in your group later when it grows. Does that make sense? Perfect. Yeah. So you don't want it to be on the off where members can just post directly to the group because then you're just going to have spammers, people posting all kinds of crazy stuff. Okay. So you don't want that. So you're going to want to approve all member posts on and then save. Perfect. Yep. Yep. And then keep going down. Nothing important. And then that's it. That's Perfect. it. Perfect. Later, when you get StreamYard, you're going to want to put, if you get StreamYard, 
you're going to want to put group apps, add okay. apps, and then you add your StreamYard. But I'm not, well, actually, no, because I'm not going to stream on my StreamYard. So anyway, that's just extra pro tip. Okay. Uh, but would you, uh, would you put the StreamYard in there? Group apps? Um, yeah, sure. Um, what we, what you, you would know? or you wouldn't? Well, okay, so it depends, right? For a person that uses StreamYard all the time, yes. For a person that does not use StreamYard all the time, no. Is that? So would you put Zoom in? If it has that option, then yes. I don't even know if it has options. Let me hit the add apps section and see what it says. Add apps. Here's all the apps that you can add. You don't wanna to add too many because it'll slow down your process. But let's see, does it have Zoom? Yes, it has Zoom. So yes, you would add that. Cool? Yeah. Um, uh, and well, you'll explain to me later why you would put that there so you can because it'll link to your own zoom account right it'll it'll yes connect to your zoom account and also probably more than like i don't use zoom so i don't know but my guess is that you would be able to stream your zoom meeting to your facebook group if you ever have that opportunity uh stream zoom okay yeah Facebook. Well, is that what you can do with your stream with your um, um, stream yard? Yeah, exactly. That's how I did it. Very good. Lots of info. I love it. Very good. Very good. Very good. This this is wonderful. I have to tell you, Catherine, because you know, different people learn different ways, but to have somebody explain it and just walk you through it one time, then bada bing, bada boom, I can do this. Instead of sitting there looking through reams of instructions um, and, you know, getting lost in the cracks for days and in, in trying to figure it out myself. This is terrific. Very, very, very good. Mm -hmm. Good. Absolutely. I'm happy to help. And this is so much fun for me. So yay. Okay. I'm trying, I somehow it kicked me off of my group. So I'm about, here it is. It's up at the top. I'm back at it. I just want to make sure that I wrap up every single um, detail, right? Okay. We're, yeah. on, we're only at 30 minutes in, so we're good. We're good. We have more information that we can give. We can do. Okay. So you set up your settings, right? I just went through that. Yeah. What about uh, what about uh, member requests? See that? Sure. Uh, it right. goes uh, member requests. Well, when somebody uh, re requests to join, that'll light up, right? Uh, and and do you allow just allow everyone to join? That's a good question. <laughs> Some people say do it. Some people say don't do it. Okay. And I'll explain the two differences. One, if you do it, then anybody just goes in. They might not be a client. They might not be a buyer. They might just be a spammer, you know? Right. But if you are selective and you don't let everybody in, because you're going to have to do membership questions, which we're about to go through. Hold on a second. Okay. Pin on that one because that's super duper important. Okay. So if you're selective and you don't let everybody in, what happens is you don't grow your group fast enough to the point where people see it as a, wow, this group is growing fast and I want to get part of this group and be part of this group. And Nobody's going to be talking about it if you're going to be selective about it. Do you, does that make sense? Got it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So it's really a personal choice. Right. That's why the about description is what is this group about? Why are you creating it? Why is, does it exist? What is it going to help other people? How is it going to serve them? And, you know, those are the questions you need to ask yourself for sure. Okay. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. So 
we're out of settings. We were in settings right here. Now we're back. This is what your now group looks like, right? The next thing we're going to do is we're going to scroll over here to the manage group section where it says membership questions right here. This is another monetization tool, membership questions. So you click on it and then it takes you membership questions and I'm going to read it just, you know, to be thorough. Ask, sure. ask pending members up to three questions when they request to join your group. Only admins and moderators will see the answers. Okay. Okay. So add question. First question you're going to ask. A lot of people ask, for people not the first question but the third question they ask for people's email will you please give me your email so that i can send you a pdf or a video or a freebie or a coupon or whatever right mm. yep in that in that neat yep i think it's so like built in for like success you know yeah perfect uh-huh Okay, so, but I would not recommend that as your first question. I would recommend that one as your third question. So the first question you're going to ask is, so if I'm in a relationship, dating, and marriage admin, and that's my group, what is going to be my first question? My first question is, what is your uh, status? Are you married? Do you have a, a you know, what let me put it in what because you want to know what they're coming in for right 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 what is your relationship status that's re i'm a bad i'm a bad typer i'll tell you it'll take forever okay <laughs> what is your relationship status number one question for my group because obviously that's important written answer you're going to want to click on the written answer and then you're going to want to that doesn't look right what is your relationship status boom save there you go so people are going to answer that when they ask to come into your group cool uh what? do you set it up so that they have to answer the questions before they come in before they're admitted you can choose to ask three questions, one question, or two questions, or no questions. That's up to you. And what do you recommend? Do you choose to ask the questions? Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. A lot of people will not anyway. So you can choose to not let them in, or you can choose to let them in. Some people will answer only one question. Some people will only answer two. Some people will answer all three. Some people won't answer at all. It, you know, people are people. No, but so, you, in order for them to come in, the next thing, they click on, uh, you know, join the group, and then, bada bing, they get the membership questions, right? Exactly. It pops up. But here's right. the thing. Um, they they can still join if they do not answer any questions. Right, because there must be a setting that you can do that, right? Because you will click the approve button as an admin. Because what happens is they hit the join button, then the memberships come up, and then they hit cancel. They're still in the join section. Then you come along and hit the approve button. Boom, they're in, even if they didn't answer the question. Okay. Okay. So they hit the join button. Questions come up. Uh, yep. Come up. And then... Um, uh, it hits the come up, uh, and then admin lets, lets them in. Are you, are you getting feedback? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. It's going to be all right. Uh, admin lets them in whether they answer or not. Perfect. Good. Perfect. 
Love it. Love it. Love it. All right. Totally. Awesome. So then this is question number one. You're going to want to create a question number two. My second question would be, so the first one is what's your relationship status? Number two, what type of relationship struggle are you having? You want to know what their pain points are, what they're struggling with, how you can help. Right? Correct. Mm -hmm. So that would be my second question. And then save. Mm -hmm. And then the third question would be the email one. Right. Third question, email. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I would say if you would like, if, if you would like a relationship analysis let's just you know why not so <laughs> much fun if you would like a relationship if you would like a relationship analysis please um write down email your email uh-huh And then that's pretty much your multiple questions. These are the money maker questions, okay? Yep. And then you save, and then you have all your questions. Boom. Very good. Very good. I love it. I love it. Okay, good. Uh, uh -huh. okay. Let's see. What are we doing here? Okay, we're at almost at the 45 minute mark, which is fine. I'm just. Keeping time just to make sure that we are uh, just to see how much advancement we're getting through and we're getting through a lot. Okay. It's very yeah. good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, another pro tip, anytime that somebody asks you, what is your group link? Oh, I can't show you. You can't see this up here. Can you up here? No, uh, no, that's okay. It's just that the up here is the URL up, up, up where you can't see. And that's where it said yeah. to copy paste your link so you can send it to people. Okay. Well, let's not worry about that because I can't show it to you, unfortunately. So what we're going to do next is we're going to write our first post right here. Create public post. This is what you do before you even start telling people about your new about your new group right you're not yep. even, you're not even promoting it yet at all you're just setting okay. it okay so you create your first public post and you go um let's see the first thing you want to do is an introduction of yourself and your expertise hello everyone Thank you for joining. I have been married. Let me just make this a real quick, just to give you an idea, right? Yeah. Happily married. Let me just <laughs> <laughs> make sure everybody knows. <laughs> for 14 years but <laughs> my dating career lasted my single and dating career <laughs> dating career it's kind of a career that's funny uh was a long let me see i guess i started a long 20 years, a long tumultuous. <laughs> I'm just being real. <laughs> Please introduce yourself. This is really important, actually, when you say, Please introduce uh -huh. yourself below. 
<laughs> but my food. <laughs> I don't know how to spell tumultuous. I only know how to say it, but there it is. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, thank you for joining. I have been happily married for minutes. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, cool. So also, just so you know, in your add post, you can add stuff, right? Look at all this stuff you can add, right? Uh-huh. You can add a photo, a video, a check-in, a poll. You can create an event. You can raise money. You can write a prompt. You can host a Q&A, add a file of how do you feel, a tag event, GIF, GIF, whatever. Ask for yeah. recommendations, tag people, all this stuff. Don't ever forget you got this. these options. They will boost your algorithm too. So we're just going to keep it simple. We're going to do that. Make sure that you say, hello, everyone. Thank you for joining. And then say whatever you want to say about your expertise. And then at the end, put, please introduce yourself below and then post. Cool? Yes. So it says my name. And then it says I'm an admin just now. And then you're going to want to click the three dots to the right here. And you're going to mark as announcement so that when people join and come in, that's the first thing they see. Cool. Perfect. Yeah. So let's refresh. Here's the, the refresh button up at the top. So anyway, I refreshed and now we're down here and here is my unread as of now announcement this is what people see when they come in they see the announcement they see the description this group is about everything related to dating they see my picture and they see that i created the group in the name 24 minutes ago cool perfect yeah unbelievable perfect. we got through so much cool stuff very good we are on fire <laughs> okay so let's see what else do you need what are the most important things so here's your invite button invite okay if you click on that you will get and this is a uh, controversial some people use it some people don't i say use it why not say you know somebody it'll pop up in your in your um your friends list. Say you know somebody is in a in a in a marriage or dating or relationship. Somebody is in one of those, right? Somebody's either dating or in a marriage or in a relation. I should have put single in my keyword. Oh well, too late now. I can change it later. No big deal. Anyway, so you hit the invite button over here and this pops up and then you click, click, click. Okay. Yeah. Click, and I'm going to tell you a secret. Do not click more than 10 people at one time. Okay? Yeah. Never, ever do that because Facebook will flag you as a spammer or a robot. Mm. So then what you do, I'm not going to do it, but you hit the send invite button. Okay. Yeah. And that's how you get your first 10 people in. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. So. I have a few questions that that are, you know, off, off record. So save like five minutes after, you know, for so us. So you're good. So we're 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 done with the training and we're ready to log off. Is that what I'm hearing? Yeah, I okay. mean, uh, it depends. It depends whether you, yeah, you no. have more. No, I don't actually. Um, everything else is kind of just learn as you go and. Just remember here, let me just this quickly, lastly, and then I'll uh, turn off the video. It's the about section here. Uh huh. Uh huh. The, oh, wait, hold on. the about section here, which has public visible, the discussion section, uh -huh. the 
announcements, topics, members, events, media. So uh-huh. don't be able to have these and you'd have all of this to look through and read through and learn. Okay? Yep. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Well, that was fun. Okay, cool. We are finished with the first session of how to create a successful Facebook group. Okay, thank you so much.